Hey guys, this is Evan and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube banner for your channel. So this is a very easy and it's a very easy tutorial for anybody who wants to learn how to do it. So first what you want to do is go into your browser, but before we do that we want to show you an example. So here's an example of one I just made for my friend. And then here's an example of one I made for myself. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So first what you want to do is go into your browser and go to gimp.org. I'll have the link in the description. Once you get here, you want to go to the downloads on the right side of the screen. And once it's loads, you want to click this link right here. And then you'll get the setup, but I already have it installed, so we do not need to do this. So if we go into GIMP right here, it'll just say GIMP 2, but if you actually hold over, it's 2.8.14. It just doesn't show all that. Let's go ahead and let this load. And once it opens, you want to go to File, and then click New. And right here is the important part. You guys are going to want to have a banner exactly this size. I believe it has to be exactly this size um, for it to work on YouTube. So this is, uh, I did some research and this is the s size it came up. And that's the size I did for mine as well. So it doesn't matter, let's just do that. And we're gonna go to 423, just drag that down. So that's exactly the same. So I have that in the description as well. So as you can see, we have a banner size now, something to work with. So now what we can do is um, go get images and things to put onto um, our banner. And to do that, we are going to be using Minecraft Skin Viewer. So to get Minecraft Skin Viewer, just go to um, Minecraft Skin Viewer, if that loads. Yeah, Skin Viewer right there. Click Enter. And then you don't want to click this one. You want to go to the second one at microform.net. Supports 1.8 skins as well, just to let you know. Uh, let's give this a few seconds. And then what you want to do once you get here is scroll down and go to the Minecraft skin download right here. You want to just click this download. I already have it installed, so it does not matter for us, like I said before. So once you have it, you want to open it up. And type in the name of the person you're doing. I'm doing this for my friend Fizzed. Let's go ahead and search his skin. And here's his skin right now. So yes, this is the skin we're working with. I'm not sure why it looks like this, but whatever. So first, we're just gonna make some symbols or some some cool things that we could have. Maybe like I don't even know what this is. Like hi like a wave or something something like that like he's waving to you guys and we can angle it like that make sure to have the background set to transparent because we do not want to have a background in gimp so once you have that you're going to save and just Na name it whatever you want but i'm just going to name it this for um searching purposes and now we're going to do a second one and for this one we're just going to do this but we're going to go like that. Except I did it backwards. Whoops. Like that. And what you want to do is file, save images, and name it whatever you want once again. And this is all just for um, Minecraft ones. You guys can do other ones as well, but I'm doing a Minecraft themed uh, person for my banner. So, yes, uh, once you have those two images, you don't need that anymore. But now you're gonna go need to get a background unless you just want to make it like a standard color that comes with it. Um, that's fine too. But we're gonna get a nice background off of Google. I look up. I like looking up thumbnail backgrounds because actually no, forget thumbnail backgrounds. Let's look up um, banner backgrounds. Background for YouTube, just like that. And it's showing some backgrounds right here that we could use something cool. Maybe we could use this right here. This would look maybe cool on his. 
Uh, or we can just look up thumbnail backgrounds like I was going to before. It's easier. Because I now actually have some results. So here's some cool ones. Um, if I'll show you the one that I have from my thumbnail. Well, actually, I don't know where that is right now. But yes. Um, so if we look at his skin, since his skin's like a whitish kind of skin, we might want to do a lighter background maybe like a let's see maybe like a um i don't know let's just get a cool thing this looks kind of cool right here in my opinion this little green i'm not sure what this is but it looks kind of nice i want to save images green i'm just gonna name this green background it doesn't matter what you guys name it for yourselves green background Okay, now what you want to do is go back into GIMP right here. And we go to File, Open as Layers. Make sure to choose the background first just to have that at the back, you know. So if we look for G. Oh, you have to go to Pictures, not recently used, sorry. Uh, green. Make sure that you don't make that mistake. So this is a little bit too small. So what you can do is right click it and go to Layer and scroll down to Scale Layer. And make this our 25, whatever, but just to be on the safe side we're gonna make it 26 just to be on the safe side of course for the scale and then it's big enough so now what we want to do is go grab the skins that we saved so file open as layers and we can look up fizz number one and what we could do is select the move tool right there and move him his skin right there it's like waving to you you know yeah and then we can do file, open as layers, and choose the second one right here. And just put that right here. Now what we can do is get some text into here. Maybe like fizzed. Fizzed. Let's just type that for now. We're going to edit it a lot. So if we make this my favorite font, show card gothic like that. Make this however big we want it. Probably somewhere around this big because there's actually going to be something else I'm going to add to this so somewhere around there and then maybe we could do like a light green a light green let's see where's the light green I like that and maybe you guys like this I like this a lot so make sure to select the text and then you want to click move the active layer so you can actually move just this word around center it wherever you want it to be I want it to be right here and now what we can do is add our extra other text that we want to add we can add subscribe and we can make this maybe that big but there's actually something I'm going to do to the text for this so let's go shark card again we're just going to make it all of this for video purposes doesn't matter what you make it actually make that a light blue and now for this one, what we're going to do is go to the um, uh, rotate tool. And then we're going to click on this and then we're going to rotate it like this. Rotate. So now it says subscribe right there. And now if we go over to here, we can add like, something like that. Show card gothic. And we can make this however big we want it. This one might have to be a little bit bigger just to balance out the sides a little bit better. White, blue, okay. Uh, spin it around. And you guys can do whatever you want with this. Um, we're just editing it like this. This looks cool. Rotate. Now we're going to move it up to right here. And I think that looks pretty cool. But now we're going to actually add some other stuff to this text right here. So what you want to do is highlight this and then you want to go to tools. Or no, you want to go to colors. No, you want to go to layer, sorry, transparency. And click alpha to selection. Then you want to go to select. Go down to grow. And change this to however, how big you want it to be. But we're going to do it like this. And since that's green, we can grab that cool, uh, cool, um, blue thing right here click the bucket and then we can click right inside of this text and then it'll pop the words out a little bit more but for the like 
and subscribe. I cannot get it to like actually do it sideways. I'm not sure why. I've tried, but I'm probably going to have to figure that out later. But this looks pretty good right now. So make sure that you have the words where you want it before you actually do that. Because if you move it, you see it leaves this behind and this does show up. I'm not sure how to delete it because I'm not the whiz. So let's go control Z. Control Z, Control Z. Okay, back to its rightful position. Now what you want to do is click File when you're done, of course, and click Export As. Do not click Save As. That's just going to save this so you can reopen it like in this. But if you actually want the picture file, you want to click Export As. We're going to save it to our desktop, export it. Uh, now I have my friend, other friends there already, so let's just export it to Documents. doesn't really matter. You want to click Export right here. And it's gonna go through to right here, and once it's exported, it's good. So now if we minus all this out, and we go into here, we go to documents where we saved it at. Here's the untitled. If we double tap it, there it is. And if you want to edit it, like later on, I'd save it as. But this is how I want it to be forever. So we're good. We can just click this X. And that's about it. I hope you guys like this really easy video tutorial on how to make a um, banner for your YouTube. I hope that this helped you guys out um, a little bit more than it like teached you more about GIMP as well. So we'll see you all later. Take care.